Hello, my name is Sagi Tiffany. I'm Head of Maths at Eastbury. I would like to work into the Maths Department. We love Maths, we enjoy it, we love having fun, lots of activities, lots of puzzles, lots of um, challenges. If you like a challenge, come and join us. So these are the texts we use for year 7s. It's actually called 11 to 19 progression and um, it's, it's made by Pearson's. It ranges right from Delta to Pi and covers the needs of our um, very high ability and our, our less able kids. No matter where in the spectrum our students find themselves, their needs, their academic needs will always be catered for. And um, having said that, the school over the years has actually done a fantastic job in terms of our math results. So it's not just a question of what we achieved in Key Stage um, 4, which wasn't done in Year 11. It's always the work started right from Year 7, I think for the last two years, uh, with the exception of 2020, which we don't know exactly what happened. Uh, value added has been one of the best in the world. And so having said that, let's look more closely at the book. So the book, covers topics right from data to algebra, numbers and um, geometry. Although they're subdivided into different categories, but again, it all depends on how the curriculum um, is organized. But again, regardless of how it's organized, you can be well assured that the needs of your child, regardless of where they are on their learning spectrum, will be catered for. Now, in addition to the books, the books actually come with um, interactive resources which can be accessed online. And then, um, if you want to come with me, I'll show you one of them. So, looking at the Delta book, for example, let's say in class today, I worked with my year sevens and we did some work on decimals. So, for example, one thing we again do is we do a lot of um, what we call real life scenario, functional skills. So for example, working with finance, working with percentages. So you can see here the world of discount. So this gives a better understanding when um, you go into a shop and you get a percentage of the cost price, how much would you be paying and things like that. And um, once you've done it, you all have the opportunity of clicking on the button and then the answer shows up there. There are other ones, but uh, I'm sure I do not have enough time for that. But again, like I said, regardless of where you find yourself in the learning spectrum, your needs will always be catered for at least three. Good afternoon, my name is Mr Springall, I'm in charge of Key Stage 4, uh, that's years 10 and 11. Um, we have four hours uh, a week of maths for year 10s, four hours for year 11s and we also run a stats course that the students opt into at GCSE um, and that's three hours a week. We use the Oxford textbook um, which unfortunately you aren't going to have an opportunity to see because sadly due to the COVID situation. It's a, a remote parents evening rather than a personal one. Unfortunate for us all, really, because it's always a pleasure to meet prospective parents. Results last year were very impressive. If we go back to 2018-19, we had something like 76% at four plus, uh, 23% at seven plus. We were pleased with those results and we reflected them for last year with the uh, summer 2020 students um, who obviously weren't able to do that exam. Hopefully when this all tidies up you'll be able to come in and meet us all in person but until then uh, if you were to send your children here you can take my word for it they'll be well looked after.